Jerome Gutor had trouble with a persistent stomachache, but like many Nigerians, he did not have money to see a doctor. Then he heard about a novel idea to get health insurance, collect waste material, and trade it for cover. He quickly signed up with Nigerian health tech outfit Soso Care, and after delivering a used car battery and plastic waste, he received a health insurance card and qualified to see a doctor. I now come with Kobo. It's a bad uh, old battery, the old motor battery and the plastic waste that I donated to them. And they give me the money to come here, come here and do the checkup. And you can see, they give me the drawers. So I'm very happy for them. Soso Care founder Nonso Opurum came up with the idea to help solve Nigeria's twin problems, waste and lack of affordable health care. The waste, mainly plastic, is sold to local recycling firms or exported. So we thought of how can we use one problem, which is plastic that pollutes the environment, to solve another problem, which is access to quality health care. Then we created Sosuke as a way for millions of people to finance their health care, whether they have cash or they don't have cash. That way they can bring in recyclables. Research firm Statista says only 3% of the population have health insurance in Nigeria. Most are government workers covered under the national health insurance system, leaving the majority of 200 million people without health insurance. People in the West African nation routinely lose money to financial scams and so do not trust insurance, seeing it as an expensive luxury. We've seen utilization and people willing to take up the plan, you know, when, because you're not asking them for money, you're asking for alternative way of uh, financing healthcare. So for them, we've grown significantly based on word of mouth and referral because people who pick up the policy with trash tend to refer family and friends. A lack of health insurance isn't the only challenge. Government health facilities are affordable to many Nigerians, but they are poorly equipped, lacking drugs and equipment that contributes to a brain drain of skilled staff. Sosokea started at the end of 2019, but the coronavirus pandemic curbed its expansion plans. So far, Sosokea operates in four cities and 7,500 families are covered under the health insurance scheme. And the firm's target is to reach half of Nigeria's population in the next five years. Alexandria Majala for CGTN.